Yehova Elohim Sva'oth. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Please fill me and lead me and cover me and stir me and speak through me with your Ruach Kodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness and humility to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Ezekiel chapter 19. Moreover, raise a lament for the leaders of Israel. Say, what a mother you had, a lioness among lions. She lay down among, among young lions and reared her cubs. Out of her cubs, she singled out. He became a young lion. He learned to seize his prey. He became, he became a man-eater. The nations sounded an alarm against him, and he was caught in their pit. With hooks, they dragged him off to the land of Egypt. When she saw that she had been thwarted, that her hope was lost, she took another of her cubs and made a young lion of him. He prowled among the lions, grew to be a young lion, learned to seize his prey, and become a man-eater. He raped their widows and destroyed their cities. The land and all in it were appalled. At the sound of his roaring, the nation set a, sa a snare for him from the provinces all around. They spread their net over him, and he was caught in their pit. With hooks, they put him in a cage and brought him to the king of Baal to imprison him in a fortress so that his roar would be heard no more on the mountains of Israel. Your mother was like a strong grapevine planted by the water. It was fruitful and luxuriant because of the abundant water. It had strong branches to be used as scepters by rulers. Besides having thick foliage, it grew taller and taller until its height was noticed with its mass of branches, but it was torn up in fury and flung out to the ground. An east wind withered her fruit. Her strong branches were broken off. They dried up and fire consumed the vine. It had been transplanted to the desert to a dry, thirsty land. Fire has gone out from its own branches, burning up its fruit, so that now it has no strong branch to be a ruler's scepter. This lamentation became very well known. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading this interesting 19th chapter of Ezekiel? Sometimes have an emotional outburst in the form of prayer reflecting your covenantal relationship between Yehovah and yourself. This lament is an act of faith where you turn to Yehovah, trusting that Yehovah hears you and that Yehovah will respond even in times of perceived abandonment or silence. Aim to help widows and unify those in your city. Ask Yehovah to plant you by the water so that you can be fruitful and multiply with the focus to be pleasing from his perspective. Aim for your fruit to remain until the end. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can encourage others to express their emotions and prayers lifted up to Yehovah. Bear one another's burdens. Aim to help the widows in need. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. We'll end with the Arianic blessing using the name. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. 
You have all will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order. And he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. You have all will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.